Among the Ghanaian community here in Germany, you are known as the most wanted MC here, especially here in Hamburg. Could you please introduce yourself? Thank you, Prince. Uh, my name is Openin Kukusi. The Ku stands for Kojo, and I've just simplified to become Kukusi. Uh, as you're saying, I've been here in Germany for a uh, couple of years. I've been involved in so many events concerning the Ghanaian and African communities. So as far as I'm concerned, I know a little bit about the African community in Hamburg or in Germany as a whole. Apanye, as you already said, you are involved in many of the Ghanaian events which do take place here in Hamburg. So uh, you are known as an MC and a community leader as well. Did that happen by chance? Uh, yeah, I would say it It didn't start by chance because uh, I've been groomed by the whole thing from infancy. Uh, as I can say, I can put myself as being a, a group captain for years back when I was young among my peers. What we did together, I was always uh, chosen as uh, the spokesman for my playmates. My question to you is, um, we should actually be blessed to have many of the churches here in Hamburg, but it has come to the point in time that uh, people do criticize the pastors here. You even, actually even went wild as you had that Ghanaians are even able to offer 2,000 euros to this Jesus Abrante who uh, held his program here. What do you have to say about this? <laughs> Interesting. Well, uh, so far as I'm concerned, uh, the churches have brought sanity and respect into our community life in Hamburg here. As I compared to the 80s, when we came here at first, there weren't so many uh, Ghanaian or African churches here, and therefore there were only social activities, and doing these, these events there were always choirs and a pandemonium here and there. So as uh, the churches began to spread, people tried to get some moral aspects and then we, uh, <clears throat> we directed our attention from the by side of our social life to take uh, the spiritual image as well. And so the breakdown started from these churches. So a group of people moved and then they form a different church and then it kept on going 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 and then people started also the so-called pastor they have big pastors who didn't take any serious uh, uh, education in pastoral uh, pastoral course and then they formed their own churches lack of knowledge or anything I cannot complete it here they show that they started they started uh, inviting pastors from Ghana to uh, to complete their mission. And so when these pastors started coming, they also took advantage to get some group of people to form their own churches. So people start to move. Uh, people started to move from one uh, mother church to form their own churches, and. This is the cause that brought about the many mushroom churches in uh, Hamburg now. And on the Jesus Abrante case to Germany to hold a crusade, nobody has anything against holding a crusade. It's a, a, a spiritual manifestation. But the aim of organizing such a crusade tend to be evil in the sense that if you come to help those people who are in uh, poverty, those people who are not having good jobs, those people who are who don't have good staying permits, those people who, whose marriages have been broken, and a lot of them, but later you tend to squeeze the little they have from their hands, then this is the point where I start to criticize the monetary affair that comes in, because I don't see the importance of a pastor preaching and asking or calling people to stand up, people who are willing to pay 500, people who are willing to pay 200, but let the people devote their own uh, presence 
and then give you something from their own heart. Because there are people who are confused as somebody who is looking for a job will come to your crusade and the moment you'll be preaching, preaching and telling them how wonders are going to be done, immediately you ask of those people who are going to, uh, who are ready to offer say a penny or a peswa, this man will not think, it's a lack of uh, knowledge there, he must think about his financial situation at that particular time but so far as he's in dear uh, need of a job or a husband or a wife he will just come and speak something out of his mind but later he will realize that so uh, the case of paying uh, this amount to pastors not through the people's or the congregation owned uh, well is something I don't subscribe to and I, I think this is the right time we have to talk against that mm. The Ghanaian community leaders here are known to be people who always criticize and are not ready um, to uh, conduct a dialogue in case something should happen. Why is it the case that you are not being able to conduct a dialogue in case something should happen? Well, this is a very, and, uh, I think it will take us a very nice time to discuss this once and for all. You know, not that the Ghanaian community leaders here do criticize and do not contribute any relative uh, uh, idea. But the problem is, we don't organize ourselves in the right position. Because I quite remember, before the coming into being of the so-called churches here, there were the Ghanaian associations. These Ghanaian associations were playing their part very, very effectively. There was a cohesion between the uh, association members and their uh, sister uh, association. That means if somebody belongs to the Asantiman Union, he is already uh, a member of the Ghanaian community in associations wise because the Okoumai have their uh, union and then upper and northern have their union or club. And anytime we call on any association, we move in our numbers to help or to enjoy or to mourn with the other side of it. But you know one thing, it was moving on in the early 90s, everything was going on. Until I still go back to the pastors, the churches started to spring up and then uh, in order to get their members stay always Sundays in their churches, they started to talk against the association. Uh, this is worldly affairs which they call it in our local uh, language like a weasism or something like this. Knowing for sure that if somebody attend a meeting or goes to a club's uh, event, the next Sunday, the next day which is Sunday, he, he won't be able to be to church or even if he will come, he might have spent some money uh, at the event or at the occasion ceremony. So the money you use to pay at the church house is going to be reduced. So they started criticizing and because the people, you know, our people here, we are in need of so many things. They listen a lot to their pastors and elders. And so they began to apart, uh, to stay apart from the union and the union started to collapse. Now, on the issue of why we, we are not able to be at a dialogue is uh, we always, one thing I know among Ghanaians here, not only the leaders, every Ghanaian, it has become part of a life that we don't speak the truth and nobody is prepared to say the truth also. And the person who begins to speak the truth, he becomes a single man and you know always many are against one. And therefore they will single out and then give you a, a lot of names, call you a lot of all they can say. Now. If we are able to know that opening is doing something which is not good and we have been able to tell opening straightforward what you are doing is not good, there's no need going to take a dialogue. Sir, this question coming to you seems to be funny but I need to um, give this question to you. Sir, as, an, um, as a master of ceremony, uh, you are uh, responsible for the failure and the success of every event which takes place here in Hamburg. But people do say you talk a lot, but why can't you talk less? <laughs> yeah, very interesting. I would like you to limit uh, the word for, uh, to spokesman more than to use MC. 
because uh, as I said already uh, MC is master of ceremony but I used to talk or to uh, discuss with people even if it is not an event like say in our taxi stations or anywhere we meet four five people we begin to discuss things like that okay what was the question like I'm event, event. The, uh, the I'm a the success. Your hands. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't accept to this because where, when we say uh, an event is a failure, it doesn't go with how long the spokesperson or uh, the MC, as we may put, talk it. It must go uh, at the point where people who criticize must say what the spokesperson or the MC was saying was not in conjunction or in connection with. Uh, the program at hand. For instance, we start our programs very now. We go to the party sometime whereby the party uh, celebrant is going to give you a paper to draw the program there. But you know, a program must be planned some days ahead of an event. Where sometime also, like the talking they are talking about, it is not that I talk more or I talk much. Taking a critical look at the Ghanaian community here in Germany, most of the Ghanaians, like every fourth Ghanaian basis here in Hamburg. But the consulate in Hanover issues pass for services. But why is it not happening here in Hamburg? Does it mean that the community leaders here in Hamburg are not efficient enough or are not capable to convince them? Interesting. Uh, this question actually, uh, I am given an answer from a layman's view because it's something moving with diplomatic issues because consulates and um, embassies and all that thing that come together are something in diplomacy with the government. Uh, the history of uh, the, Ghana, uh, the Ghana consulate in Hamburg here has been told as an honorary consulate just because somebody has offered himself to do the work in place for the Ghanaian government. That's is the Ghana government is not paying anything in uh, say rent in uh, service in anything because what we know is now the consulate here her borish has taken over from the father the father initiated the whole thing I think they have some connection in timber market in Ghana and some exemption of taxes and other things they've taken the trouble or uh, the position to uh, work on behalf of the Ghanaian government in, in Hamburg. Where? Uh, not issuing a passport or giving visa here is something we have to ask or inquire from the consulate. But me talking on behalf of the consulate, I can't do that because I don't know the reason why they are not able to issue visa or issue passport. But the same question, how possible? that the new created consulate in Hanover is able to issue passport uh, or visa uh, but the old one in Hamburg can't do it. So all come around and go around that a, a, a city like Hamburg we don't have a, an organized Ghanaian association like say Ghana Union. We form it, it becomes one man's business. When we try to reorganize it at a, a certain stage we don't know which way we are going. So my name is Prince Osisecha for AfricanOnline24.com.